None of us are an island unto ourselves. Now, when you're familiar with physics, especially quantum mechanics, understanding that there's an integral unity that bonds and connects literally every atom in all of existence, billions and billions and trillions of miles away, not fully understood, different theories, string theory, other theories that try to explain it all, you come to realize this, everything is really like all connected by like an invisible quilt. Think of an invisible quilt and everything's on that quilt. So when you, when you vibrate the quilt on one corner, it affects what sometimes is known as the butterfly effect. That the, a butterfly flapping its wings in Kansas City can create a typhoon in Singapore. So there's some type of inherent and integral unity that connects us all. And that's the essence of empathy and compassion. So compassion has this power to transcend ourselves. But we have to allow it, obviously, to manifest. You know, if a person is completely consumed with themselves, they're not even going to look at another person in joy or in pain and therefore not empathize with them. So there has to be that openness. In other words, being selfish and completely self-consumed can close us off to be blinded to others. But if you don't do that and you allow your eyes to see, you allow your ears to hear, you allow yourself to be sensitive to the vibes around you, there's a connection between all of us and compassion reveals that connection. So what they say is, to err is human, to forgive is divine. Why? 